They mysteriously drowned more than 30 years ago. The deaths ruled accidental at the time, but to this day, their families believe these three young black men were murdered. Now the investigation begins again. The remains of the two exhumed today. News 2 Stephanie Langston has been following this story from the very beginning. She has an update you'll only see here on News 2. Headstones are all that remain where the bodies of 16 year old Patrick Fletcher and 15 year old Stevie Bass were laid to rest more than 30 years ago. It's a sight no one wants to disturb. And as difficult as it is to watch, loved ones of Stevie Russell Bass are counting their blessings that this day has finally come. We've always suspected be murder. I hope it finally gets its closure. The deaths of the two teens, Stevie and Patrick, along with 20 year old Dennis Martindale, were ruled accidental drownings after being pulled from Richland Creek fully clothed. Their autopsies never completed. The least we're hoping for is to be able to go back and look for, for any kind of fractures or evidence of trauma to the to the body. General Cooper calling it a long shot, but a shot worth taking. You know, the organs, of course, won't be there to, to look at or examine. Uh, Probably a lot of the soft tissue will be missing. What we can hope for is that uh, if there was any physical trauma uh, to any of these three young men, uh, that uh, that their remains will show that. The victims' families praying for justice. But we've pretty much known the truth. Just gotta get it out there. Just gotta let them pay for what they've done. The remains of both bodies are now at the Davidson County Medical Examiner, where they plan to perform new autopsies in the morning. Reporting from Giles County, Stephanie Langston, News 2.